Okay, there's one last ether reaction. It's kind of a specialty thing, but it's how to cleave specifically a benzyl ether. Now, you may not be familiar with what is a benzyl ether. A benzyl group is a phenyl with a CH2. So a benzyl ether, we're going to have something on the other side of our oxygen, and a benzyl ether would look like this. Here's our benzyl group, and this is a benzyl ether. Now, benzyl ethers can be cleaved with strong acids like other ethers, but benzyl ethers can also be cleaved in a very specific other way. And we can treat this with hydrogen and palladium on carbon. And what this does is it reductively cleaves. It does a hydrogenolysis. And it breaks that CO bond. And it actually forms methylbenzene or toluene as a side product, which is really easy to get rid of. So you, you treat it with hydrogen gas and palladium on carbon. Palladium on carbon is a solid. Hydrogen gas is obviously a gas. You mix it with your compound. You cook it all together. And then when you're done, you recover your alcohol this is a low boiling solvent. It's easy to get that away as a vapor. Hydrogen gas goes away. You can filter off the solid palladium and carbon. So you get these really clean reactions and they tend to be extremely high yielding. So this is a specific type of ether um, that's very easy to make through the Williamson ether synthesis doing an SN2 reaction. So we can take an alcohol and we'll have to deprotonate it so we can treat it with sodium, sodium metal and then maybe benzyl bromide or benzyl chloride, and we'll do the SN2 reaction. This is our Williamson ether synthesis. And then we can do our chemistry. Let's say we want to change our R group and do some chemistry over there. And then we can remove, chop off this group later with hydrogen and palladium on carbon, and we get our alcohol back. So we'll see this kind of transformation and how these can be really useful to very mildly and easily and in high yield be able to chop off a group and reveal your alcohol back again later.